Hi, Neil from image-restore.co.uk here. Just taking a look at the dust and scratch filter today. We think of the dust and scratch filter as removing small particles of dust and small scratches. With the filter and noise, dust and scratches, low level radius up the threshold and we can see that quite effectively you can remove small particles of dust. And if you move this further up, we can remove some of the bigger stuff. We obviously we need to mask out the image so that we don't lose all the detail in the hair and the eyes and mouth and various other places and then paint back over the healed up areas. We can use dust and scratches for rather larger damage too. This is part of an image in the sky. It wasn't much image, it wasn't much bigger than this, this image. Um, but the damage here, I've cropped the area of the sky just to show you. And if we go to filter, noise and dust and scratches and look at the same sort of settings we had before. I don't remove all of that sky damage there. That's quite a big area. When we move the radius up, we can still see damage and keep on going, starting to disappear. Push it up and up and up till it disappears completely. And then we can move the threshold down to around about there. And you can see it's pretty much all gone. Let's just do a before and after. If we create a new layer, layer mask, new layer, duplicate layer, and then apply that again, filter, noise, dust and scratches, way up there, way down there, and say OK. We can then zoom in and double check to see how well it's removed all those marks. On first sight that looks quite good, but if we zoom in on this area here, you can see it's gone smooth. And the dust and scratch filter has blanked that out. There's no texture there. And we can match the texture of this readily cleaned area to the underlying area by simply adding some noise. Filter, noise, add some noise. Can add two pixels here, and there we have it. If you wanted to soften that, you could then blur it with a very small 0 0.54 or 3 perhaps radius blur. Um, but that looks pretty good to me, so we're zooming out. And then we'd mask that layer off. Layer mask, hide all, then we could paint in the restored area quite easily. Of course, the aim is to make sure that it's looked like this damage was never there before. And by flicking between the two, you can check for those soft white areas that may have occurred as a result of an overzealous dust and filter setting. And add a bit of noise to hide them if they're there. Or go back and try some other setting. Mask it out, paint away the damage. And you can use dust and scratches for cleaning up large areas of damage in sky, painted walls or fabrics. Uh, and it works very well indeed. doesn't always, but you can try and experiment. Have fun with that, and I'll speak to you again.